wholeheartedly and fully support the second reading of the consolidated bill in order to cope the incidents of uh, money laundering, which has negatively impacted on our image among the Committee of Nations. With regard to the observations raised by the Leonard FN, I concur with the observation raised by him that the National Assembly, as it is presently constituted, is not a Father Christmas to be donating powers that, were, that was conferred on us by the Constitution to the executive arm of government. We should legislate in such a way that it is clear and unambiguous and not to resort to donate powers to the executive arm of government because absolute power corrupts absolutely and breeds excessive or misuse and abuse of power. As such, I support that this bill should pass Second reading, when it goes to the public hearing, all the nitty gritty as it affects the modus of Randy of this bill will be trashed out in the course of the public hearing when experts come and give their own opinion. So I wholeheartedly support the second reading of this bill, but with a caveat that when it goes to the committee stage, we should not donate the powers that was given to us by the Constitution to the executive arm of government. Because these powers that we are, this bill seeks to give to the Attorney General is so enormous that we should not just donate it to the Attorney General, which should be exercised by the National Assembly. Thank you. From this row, Honorable E.J.